Hello, welcome to a box of quarters. I'm going to be cutting this quarters in this quarter hunt. Hello, welcome to another video. I've got a box of quarters here. I'm going to crack these open and see if we got quarters we can hunt or if this is a box of brand new quarters. Let's take a look. And all right, we have a box of circulated quarters. Very nice. Um, I'm not seeing anything standing out on top. But uh, let's get inside and see if there's any awesome finds inside of these rolls. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Roll number three. And I've come across... Our first find, we got a Harper's Ferry. This one has some doubling in the window here. Um, it is really minor, and it is only one window from what I can tell. But uh, it is a double die, and that is pretty cool. Always fun to find those, and 2015-2016s uh, are great ones to look at to try and find some double dies. Made it to the end of roll number 7, and I've got a... Pansy Takamoto Mink from this year. This one is dirty and circulated. Really quick to get dirty and circulated, but right here on the hair, it looks like there is some doubling. Um, there has been some doubling found in the hair, and I'm not sure if I'm seeing this right or not, but I figured I would uh, share it anyways. And uh, we're going to put it up here. If it is uh, out there and listed, I'll let you know. But otherwise, uh, fun, fun little double die find there. Roll number eight, and we've got another Harper's Ferry with doubling in the windows. This one is uh, a lot more doubling than the previous one we found, but that is pretty cool. We're on a Harper's Ferry roll so far. We are on roll number eight, and I've got a 2018 Voyagers here. And on the obverse, if you can see right here, there is a little bit of a die chip on the rim that is called a cun this one is a little worn so it's a little harder to see but that is a pretty cool find finding a cud this quarter is a little rough a little worse for wear but uh finding a cud is pretty nice i understand that's a common spot to find them on these coins so but yeah it's nice to find a cud on a coin roll number 11 and we come across an awesome find we have a west point this is a going to be a 2019. The privy mark is not over here on this side. I think it's over here. It would be right in here. Um, so this is going to be a 2019, not a 2020. But a West Point is always fun to find. Ooh, and it's a war in the Pacific. Nice. That is one I have not seen in a while. So that is a fun find for sure. Um, nice. Nice a West Point find. Roll number 18. We've got a fun find here. We got a Wyoming State Corner 2007, and we have a doubling in the Saddle Horn area. Um, I'll pop up on the screen whichever one this is, but that is a fun find for sure. So, uh, I think some of these are in the Chair Pickers Guide, so we'll see which one that is. And uh, yeah, nice find there. We made it to roll 23, and we have a very, very dirty, dirty. 1916 Harper's Ferry. Unfortunately, this destroyed coin here does have some doubling on the windows. So, I mean, it counts as a double die, uh, and it is a pretty, pretty messed up one at that. But still, I'm going to add it to the stack. Roll number 35. We've got a homestead here. Um, this one has some die chips up on the roof, a little bit above the roof. So it has a little bit of a snow on the roof effect, not a whole lot. But then also there's a little bit of a die chip down here on the bottom of the bucket. So this one would be considered a leaky bucket. Um, this coin is a bit dirty, but uh, 2015s do have a lot of stuff to look for on them. So nice little find there. Roll number 37. We've got another Harper's Ferry here with doubling in the windows. This has been a... Uh, Stack box for these Harper's Ferries with uh, doubling on the reverse. Very nice. That's the fourth one so far. Roll 38, and we've got a homestead here. This one has a pretty sizable die chip on the roof. This is called a snow on the roof. You can find the die chips that go across the whole roofs, and the more uh, more die chips or the larger size of the die chips, 
uh, the better the quarter is, but that's another die chip quarter on Homestead. Very cool. All right, we are on roll 46. Got another Homestead here. This one has some doubling in the windows here. Very cool. That's our first double die on the 2015 Homesteads. Nice. Um, we'll put that, I'll just stack that up there. Very cool. Roll number 46 still. We have a tall grass prairie, pretty dirty. This one has a pretty nice sized die chip on the butterfly's wing. Um, that's a pretty common place to find them. This one is a filly and it is pretty dirty, but still a fun find for sure. Okay, well it's time to wrap up here, head to Northern Farms. Then these, um, let's start at the top here. We had the die chip on the wing on this um, butterfly. We have the uh, rim cut here on this 2016, 2018. 2018 um, had two homesteads. This one has the die chip on the roof called the snow on the roof. This one has the leaky bucket with a little bit of some die chips up here on the roof. Um, then we got the Wyoming with the DDR. We got four Harper's Ferry DDRs. I mean, that, there was a ton of those. One Homestead DDR. And this uh, 2024 um, Patsy Tomoto Week with a, what looks like doubling in the hair here. Um, but the best find of the box is the Warner Pacific West Point, if I can hold on to it. Warner Pacific West Point. It's one of the ones that I um, rarely find. I rarely come across the Warner Pacific. Um, and it's been a while since I've got a West Point, so it's nice to actually hit one of those. So that's awesome. All right, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. helps me out. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you click on that link right there, it'll help me out. And then I have a couple of videos over here that is recommended. So if you would like to watch another one, I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.